seem small, but this device is the cornerstone of my life's work. Wow. So that one little invention makes most of your other inventions possible, Professor Quantum? That's correct, Joy. When I invented the Magnetic Gyro Capacitor Self-Sustaining Energy Stabilizing System... Or MAGSIS for short. <laughs> uh, <laughs> exactly. That's when I knew I had a breakthrough. Professor Quantum, thank you for letting our science class get a sneak peek. Why, just spending these fleeting moments in your presence is a lifelong dream come true. <laughs> and I'm only 12. I uh, appreciate your classmates helping with this setup. <laughs> That's some grip. Hey, Dad, where do you want the multimeter? Oh, I can take that, Chris. You know, I think I am more proud of you than anyone I have ever met. Well, I'm proud of you too, Carson. Valley View's top science honors student and president of the Future Inventors Club, <laughs> Sterling Credential. Oh, yeah. he's a hugger. <laughs> My, <laughs> how time flies. Actually, time is an immaterial relative concept and cannot fly. Uh, but you know that, don't you, Professor? Yes. <sighs> yeah, yeah, I, I get it. It's a metaphor. Son, I need you to be in charge of the final preparations. Really? Guests will arrive in 15 minutes. Make sure the Maxis looks perfect for the exhibition. Yeah, I'm in charge. Oh, brother. Uh, Mr. In Charge, fingerprint smudges? Yeah, good, Gizmo. You make sure everything is nice and polished. <laughs> it's my responsibility to make sure everything for this exhibition of his life's work is looking and running perfectly. <laughs> I am so on this. Okay, people, we've got less than 15 minutes. Make sure everything looks great. And remember to... Okay. That lightning strike was so close that its electromagnetic pulse fried my... <laughs> ...turning me into a giant electromagnet. <sighs> I should be fine as long as I don't become startled or... <laughs> the Magsis! It's missing! <gasps> oh no! Everybody search! We've got to find it! Yes, check for fingerprints. Go! <laughs> Joy, what am I gonna do? I gotta find out who took it. All right, all right. Let's see. Think, Chris, think. Could've been Kevin. Nah, squeaky shoes. Would've hurt him. Kaylee was close enough. Uh, she's always getting calls. And I would've heard that ringtone. Chris, Chris, you were right! You found fingerprints? Yes, and I polished them up so you can't tell they were ever there. Kiz, what? No. Kiz, you weren't supposed to clean the fingerprints. You were supposed to collect them for evidence. Yes, that does make more sense. Uh, oh, the exhibit opens in just a few minutes. What am I gonna do? Superbook! Wait, Superbook, no! I've gotta find out who took the mag! Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I am taking you to meet a man who sought wisdom and guidance from God. Giz, get, get a, a reading, reading on where we are. I am on it. The year is approximately 970 BC. We have been deposited somewhere between the ancient cities of Jerusalem and Gibeon. Uh-oh, I see soldiers. And they do not look friendly. Quick, behind these bushes. Whoa, easy. What's got you so snarled? 
Hmm, probably smells a jackal. They are all over these hills. <laughs> get away, get away, get away, get away! Jeez. Darn it! Ah! What? What is it? What? Looks like I've found your jackals. <laughs> what were you doing in the bushes? Are you a thief? Uh, no, in fact, I'm trying to catch a thief, uh, believe it or not. And we just they got scared. They hardly away. look dangerous. But King Solomon, they Hiding were... from the big men with scary weapons. I would have done the same thing. Let them go. That is right. You heard the men. I am not a jackal. Hm. You don't really think there are jackals out here, do you? <laughs> Hold on a minute. Uh, excuse me. Uh, King Solomon, we're kind of new around here. Right? And if there are indeed jackals and other dangerous creatures around... We wondered if we could ride along with you, just to the nearest town. I am headed to Jerusalem. You can ride with my soldiers. Thanks All right. right. Woohoo! We should thank you for the ride. It's not every day one gets a lift from the king. Yes, but next time I will call dibs on the king's chariot. <laughs> Chris, did you say you were trying to catch a thief? Yeah, my father trusted me with a prized possession of his, and I let him down. I might understand your situation better than you think, Chris. My father was king before I was, King David. And he entrusted me with all of Israel. I can't even lead a science class. <sighs> can't imagine having to lead an entire nation. How did you manage all that responsibility? I think of advice my father gave me. My son, I am going where everyone on Earth must someday go. Take courage and be a man. Observe the requirements of the Lord your God and follow all his ways. Keep the decrees, commands, regulations, and laws written in the law of Moses so that you will be successful in all you do and wherever you go. If you do this, then the Lord will keep the promise he made to me. He told me, if your descendants live as they should and follow me faithfully with all their heart and soul, one of them will always sit on the throne of Israel. So, no matter how difficult the task, as long as I obey the Lord, he will see that I succeed. You took over after your father died, but my father's waiting for me back home. And when he finds out how badly I messed up, Huh, I'm done for. Chris, it has been a long journey. Why don't you and your friends come to the palace as my guests? Chris, why don't you try to eat something? This food's delicious. I can't. Somebody in the museum had to have stolen the Magsis. That means it's probably still there somewhere. Now, I placed everyone exactly where they were right before the power went out. Joy, you and I were here. Carson started walking this way past Fabiola and Juan. Jake, Amari, and Chen were over near the... What are you doing? Oh, it is my 3D printed action figure. Equipped with the ever-popular lifelike Extendo Grip. I know what it is, Gizmo. Why are you putting it into my reenactment? Because I am not a fig. You're not a fig. I am not, and I do not want anyone thinking I am a fig. But you can use this. It is not a fig. Giz, put it away. You're thinking one of these people did take it, right? And I just need to deduce who had a motive and the best opportunity. Well, it could not have been any of them. Why not? Because they're all fruit, and some fruit didn't steal the Maxis. Get a grip, Giz. I have a grip. A lifelike extendo grip. And what are my new friends up to? Still trying to solve Chris's mystery. Hmm. Maybe that's the problem. What are you talking about? 
When I was younger and had been given all the responsibility of ruling over Israel, I knew I could not do it alone. So I went to one of the most important places of worship at Gibeon, where I offered over a thousand sacrifices to the Lord. That night, God spoke to me in a dream. Solomon, ask for anything you want, and I will give it to you. My father, David, your servant, was honest and did what you commanded. You've made me king in my father's place, but I'm very young and know so little about being a leader. Please make me wise and teach me the difference between right and wrong. If you don't, there is no way I could rule this great nation of yours. Solomon, I'm pleased that you asked for this. You asked for wisdom to make right decisions. So I'll make you wiser than anyone who has ever lived or ever will live. I'll also give you what you didn't ask for. You'll be rich and respected as long as you live, and you'll be greater than any other king. Wisdom? But God was asking. I mean, you could have requested anything. A super long life, which is beyond your dreams. I asked for wisdom, and God will grant the same to anyone if he asks from his heart. With all your heart, you must trust the Lord and not your own judgment. Seek his will in all you do, and he will show you which path to take. Is your trust in God, or is it in Chris? I never thought about it that way before. Maybe that means your trust is in Chris? Please, dear God. My father will be so disappointed if the exhibit doesn't open because of me. Please help me. I want to put my trust in you and not me. But... <sighs> What's the use? no witnesses to prove whose baby it is. Then there is no way King Solomon can decide. Ah, why don't we use DNA samples to determine which woman is the true biological mother? Kiss, that's a great idea. Move! Move aside! Make way! It's my baby! The king will determine the baby is mine! All I need are a few hair samples to analyze, and our little mystery will be solved. Small hair sample. Won't hurt a bit. Oh, you are right. I can just use some of that for your DNA. Giz, hurry. We need that DNA analyzed. I will send them off to the lab as soon as we get home. We should have the results in six to eight weeks. Yes, Mo! The king is here. Oh, so do. How do you How do you Majesty, this woman and I live in the same house. 
Not long ago, my baby was born at home. And three days later, her baby was born. Nobody else was there with us. One night, while we were all asleep, she rolled over on her baby and he died. <gasps> then while I was still asleep, she got up and took my son out of my bed. She put him in her bed, and then she put her dead baby next to me. <laughs> in the morning, when I got up to feed my son, I saw that he was dead. But when I looked at him in the light, I knew he was not my son. No, he was your son. My baby is alive. The dead baby is yours. Mine is alive. What's Solomon going to do? Without a DNA test, there is no way to know for sure whose baby it really is. Grant me wisdom. Both of you say this live baby is yours. Someone, bring me a sword! What? What's he doing? Cut the baby in half. That way each of you can have part of him. No! Put him down. Please don't kill my son. Your Majesty, I love him very much. But give him to her. Just don't kill him. <laughs> Go ahead and cut him in half. Then neither of us will have the baby. <laughs> Not kill the child, but give him to the woman who wants him to live, for she is his mother. Him to solve that problem in a way no one else could. Superbook, come on! Dad, we've been looking all over for the Maxis. It disappeared when we lost power. Uh, I'm sorry. Chris, it was a centerpiece of the exhibition. Without it, well, I better tell the curators we're gonna have to cancel the evening and figure out who took it. Lord, give me wisdom. The Magsis would have left some DNA behind, right? Scan the display for DNA evidence. But... Mm. But Chris, Gizmo can... Uh, Professor Quantum, I think Chris has this one covered. Now, as we know... <laughs> uh, Giz, I need you to focus with me up here. Please, scan the table for DNA. Now, as I was saying, 
Everybody's DNA is one of a kind. Identify the DNA, you identify the thief. Chris, you are correct. My DNA scan found hair and skin cells. Now all I have to do is say- Wait! Huh? I did it! You did what? It was me. I didn't steal it. I just wanted to touch a piece of history. So I picked up the magsys when nobody was looking, and I accidentally dropped it when the lightning hit. The case cracked and I panicked. So I hit it right... <gasps> it's gone! I slid it under the table right before the power came back on. Chris, look, you made me admit my mistake, but I don't have the Magsis. I believe you, Carson, but then where is it? Huh? Yes, the Magsis! Chris, it must have been under the table like Carson said, but when the thunder crashed and I jumped over the... Uh, <laughs> I must have magnetized again, and the Magsis got pulled out and stuck to me without my knowing. <laughs> well, it's seen better days, but it's certainly fixable. What do you say we get this back on display and open the exhibition? Huh. Sounds like a super plan. Thanks, Chris. You did a very impressive job there, Chris. Getting Carson to step up and admit the truth. Thanks, Dad. I had an old friend give me some good advice. Well. If I am no longer needed here, I am going to check out the outer space exhibits before the crowd arrives. <laughs> Think we should tell him he just walked into the bugs and creepy crawler exhibit? Butterfly, spider, scorpion! Ah! Ah! The space exhibit is this way. Hmm. Guess I should probably replace that circuit board as soon as possible. <laughs> <laughs>
new Superbook Bible app. <laughs> it's packed with games, activities, and Superbook episodes that you can watch for free. Oh, no! There's trivia, a fun daily devotional, and answers to your Bible questions. Plus, an easy-to-understand Bible the whole family will enjoy. You can even create your own Superbook character. Ta-da! It's the new Superbook Bible app. Free downloads on iTunes, Google Play, and Amazon.